Hi guys, Lisa T here. I'm so excited. My Frazy Ford records came today. I, I ordered them almost a month ago. And, uh, you know, the shipping and everything is kind of slow right now. And I had actually forgotten that I ordered them. And uh, then they arrived today. And I was like, yay! So exciting. So uh, I love Frazy Ford. Uh, if, you've, if you've watched some of my older videos, you've seen... Uh, you know, you've probably seen one record that I have of hers. Uh, this one. This came out in February of this year. You Can Be the Sun. Man, gorgeous record. Gorgeous record. She has such an amazing voice. She doesn't always enunciate, and, you know, that can, you know, drive me a little crazy sometimes, but, man, what a beautiful voice. And, uh, love her, love her, love her. And uh, she used to be a member of the Be Good Tanyas. And then back before that, she was in an Al Green cover band. And um, so uh, I'll put a link to her KEXP performance, you know, the independent station out of Seattle, Washington. That I love their videos. Love their videos. Um, so many great performances. And... Uh, so you, you can go check them out. I would subscribe to KEXP and check out Frazy Ford. I'll put the performance from 2015 right after uh, her album, Indian Ocean, because that album was actually recorded down in Memphis at, uh, at High Records. Uh, she she uh, got to work with Al Green's old band, and in fact, it was, uh, it was the last... Um, record that the legendary Teeny Hodges played on uh, before he passed away, unfortunately. So, kind of a special thing. If you're an Al Green fan like I am, I'm a big Al Green fan, so naturally I love Frazee Ford, so I'm going to put that link down there for you to check her out if you don't know of her. Or maybe you found my channel because you do love her and Gosh, I hope so, because I, I need more Frazy Ford fans in my life. <laughs> I don't, hardly anybody I know has heard of her. Okay, well, I went ahead and opened up the box before starting this video. I have one of these little handy little tools. I love this thing. It came in like a pack of five for ten bucks. Worked great. So, um, this is the album Indian Ocean. And I only get to listen to it on Spotify right now. I don't have it on vinyl. Um, I bought this copy because they they uh, they marked it down because of having one little bent corner. Well, now I'm not I'm not going to be selling this record. I'm going to be playing this record and enjoying it. So I don't care that it has a bent corner and you know save a little money. And also, I felt kind of bad leaving it there because I noticed on her website that it's been available for a long time and nobody wanted it. So I wanted to give it a home. Um, so my favorite songs on, uh, on Indian Ocean are September Fields, You're Not Free, Done, Three Golden Trees. I mean, they're all, it's just a, in Indian Ocean, You Got Religion. It's just a beautiful, beautiful record. And, uh, you can definitely, uh, you can definitely hear the Al Green influence. And, I mean, should I open it? No, I'm not going to open it. I will, I'll open it after the video. I'm, you know, this is her debut album, um, called Obadiah. And so the story goes, her middle name is Obadiah. Because her hippie parents <laughs> allowed her brothers to uh, to give her her middle name. And that was the name they chose. And I believe I would have vetoed that. But her parents allowed it. And so now she is Frazy Obadiah Ford. I want to, I kind of want to open this one. Anyway, it says Frazy Ford of the Be Good Tanya's debut solo album. Two LPs plus an MB MP3 download card. Woohoo! Gatefold with etched side. And um, I think the single off of this one was Firecracker 
bird of paradise if you're gonna go it's i mean it's just a beautiful beautiful record love it love it i'm so excited and then i ordered two pins oh look they secured them in this nice envelope I'm going to open it easily so I, I can reuse it. I try to reuse everything. I'm, I'm funny that way. Oh, cute little pins. It's a rose. It says, my joy takes nothing from you. And that is a really great line from the uh, song Done off of uh, Indian Ocean, which if you watch that KEXP performance, uh, Dunn is the last song that she does. And uh, it just uh, basically says, my, my, my joy, my joy, my joy takes nothing from you. You know, she's talking to somebody who's given her a hard time after they broke up and something I think all of us can probably relate to. And if you can't, consider yourself lucky, because let me tell you, <laughs> some of us have been through some shit. <laughs> me included. Okay, well, that's it. Um, I am going to wait until after the video to open the records. Um, so, uh, but I just wanted to show them off and say I'm so excited. I started thinking about it, and I decided I should open them. Okay, I'm not very good at editing. Hopefully this turned out okay. So this is Indian Ocean. This is the pictures on the back of of uh, the basically the Hodges brothers, which you know there's like I think a dozen of them. Um, pictures of the recording of this record lots of pictures of teeny and there's Frazy playing the guitar and singing um and it says here i'd like to thank all of the incredibly talented people involved in the making of this album i'm so grateful for the opportunity to know and work with you all a wild dream came true all around Man, uh, Robert Gordon is a producer that heard Frazy's album, Obadiah, on uh, the radio, and uh, he heard If You're Gonna Leave, and recognized the Al Green influence, and he emailed her and was like, hey, I actually uh, know all the folks in Memphis, if you would like to go down there and record, and uh, I could probably get get Al Green's old band to play with you. And uh, so that actually happened for her. You can just imagine the excitement. But it says here, it has all of the lyrics to the songs. It's beautifully done. And uh, has here, there's a picture of Teeny. And it says this album is dedicated to Mavon Teeny Hodges. A deeply brilliant guitarist and dear human being. Thank you for all the beautiful things you've done. Man, he uh, passed away from emphysema. What an incredible, incredible musician. And this is what the... That is not a static-free sleeve. I'm definitely going to be putting this in a static-free sleeve. A-S-A... P. Isn't that beautiful? Feels like 180 gram. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna open the uh, Obadiah. Get my little my little tool here. Oh, this thing works so great. I love it. I'm just going to take the plastic off. It's, I'm not going to keep the hype sticker. This is a gatefold and 
I know some people keep all of the hype stickers, but I'm not I'm not going to ever be selling this. I'm I'm going to, you know, listen to this and enjoy it. Oh my goodness. Give me a second. I think my dogs got a little too rough with each other. Well, that was exciting. My dogs were playing with each other and I guess one of them got a little too rough. They're laying down now. Okay. Uh look at this beautiful gatefold. And has the lyrics. Here's one thing I appreciate about her. So this is, she has three albums out, and all three of them have, have lyrics inside. That's, that's nice. Beautiful sleeve. Wow, so pretty. It's reminiscent of Indian Ocean. And then, you know, uh, and then, of course, her third album actually has her sitting in the Indian Ocean. So, it's almost like, you know, she tells a story and just kind of picks up the next album, kind of picks up where the uh, previous album left off, almost, is kind of what it feels like. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Beautiful. Not 180 grams. Feels more like probably 120, but still, still very nice. And see, double album. Download card. Here's the download card for Indian Ocean. And this is disc two. Okay. Yeah, it just dawned on me that maybe somebody would find my video because of Frazy Ford's name, and maybe they would have wanted to see what the records look like. So just wanted to include this. And uh, love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday weekend, and uh, talk to you soon.